Ceci n'est pas un oiseau. It's a projection installation comprising a specially built animation projector and a system of four automated semi-transparent screens. The projector projects a looped series of images of a cockatoo in flight, originally made by Edward Mybridge, onto the four screens. The screens are moved by the action of six programmed suspended fans. This is not a bird. Edward Mybridge published these photographs of a cockatoo in flight in 1887. They were made using an electrically triggered array of cameras and exposed onto glass plates. Photographic positives were then produced. Some decades later, these positives were used to produce screened printing plates for the purpose of simulating photographic tonality in black ink, and a book was published. Some decades after that, I re-photographed these images from such a book and constructed a machine that sequenced these images and projected them onto a screen, producing an effect vaguely reminiscent of a bird in flight. In what sense is this a bird? The pattern recognition facility of the human mind is extraordinarily developed. It is remarkable that we can decipher these images as being representations of a bird in flight. The ability of the cinema to sustain the illusion of gradual change through time is due to the physiological neurological phenomenon of the persistence of vision. Behind the seduction of the cinematic illusion is a rigorous mechanics of sequenced still frames. One of the characters in Flann O'Brien's The Third Policeman declared that all movement was composed of an infinite series of infinitely short stops. He maintained that this was proven by examining a strip of cinema film. This projector is a non-standard application of stepping motor technology. It is built almost entirely of recycled components. When the projector was nearly completed, I was pleased to learn that Mybridge had built a projector for his images based on the same disc concept. These frames of a cockatoo in flight are unique in Mybridge's published works in that the subject escapes the grid. It is the perversity of the artist that causes the images to be looped so that the bird is always recaptured by the grid. Mybridge's grand project was to quantify human and animal locomotion by the superimposition of it upon a planar grid and then to grid time 
through the sequencing of the cameras. This procedure is a case study in the methods of the old science, which traces its lineage through Plato, Euclid, Descartes and Newton, of a world resolvable to simplified relationships and excluded variables, where time and space were absolutes. The project is conceptually contemporary with Mendeleev's periodic table of elements and Mendel's genetics. His project also qualifies as a variety of cosmic mapping. In this, he is a successor to the Renaissance Kabbalists Robert Flood and Giordano Bruno and their many Nemanist predecessors.